Hello and welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. I'm here today excited because FedEx just delivered the Mavic Air by DJI. I'm very excited for my brand new drone. This is DJI's latest and greatest drone. It's a new class, somewhere in between the Mavic Pro, which I happen to have right here, and the DJI Spark, which is more of a personal selfie drone. And the Mavic Air fits comfortably right in between. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have in the box here. All right, we have stuff. I got the Fly More Bundle, which comes with a handy dandy carrying case. I'm usually not a fan of DJI's cases, but uh, let's see what we got in this one. And I expect all kinds of cables and things. I'm just gonna pull everything out and then we'll kind of go through it. All right, and uh, what could be in here? What could be in this magic bag? Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, upside down. There we go. That's it. Wow, I am just blown away by the size of this thing. Look at that. Palm of my hand. You can still see my finger and the back of my hand, and that's it from a side-by-side -side or sideways comparison or side-by-side -side to the Mavic Pro. It is about, as far as I'm concerned, half the size. I know it's not half the length, but overall weight, size, and just bulkiness. And I never would have ever considered the Mavic Pro bulky, but by comparison, this is literally, in my estimate, okay, let's say a third, a third smaller, two thirds the size. Anywhere from two thirds to a half. All right, anyway, let's put that down and let's talk about the controller. All right, here's the controller. We're gonna go ahead and take all the labels and stuff off and do our first flight. We're gonna come back for that. Uh, it's about the same size as the Mavic Pro controller, but it's missing the display and that kind of bugs me, but we'll see how it is in actual flight. Uh, it comes um, with the, oh, the other thing that's kind of nice is the, as a place to put the controller knobs, like it stores them. And you can actually screw those on. So that's kind of cool. So those don't have to be sticking out all the time in your bag and potentially get damaged. So nice improvement there. Comes with the lightning adapter already connected, although I'm sure they give you connectors for USB-C and micro USB for other types of phones besides iOS devices. All right, these are batteries. I kind of figured that out on my own. It's already got a battery built in, so with the Fly More Bundle, you get a total of three batteries. This looks like a battery charger, if I'm not mistaken. And we've got a battery charger here, which somehow connects to, yep, which connects to this, and this connects to that. All right, so that's for our charging. There was one more box here, and I think I know what this box is going to have in it. Let's go ahead and open this up. Yep, tons of propellers, propeller, propellers, extra propellers, extra cables. Again, like I mentioned for the controller, if you're not on an iOS device, they've got you covered. They include the other cables for the other types of phones. Some type of charging adapter. Oh, that probably goes on the end of that charging cord. Charging adapter, standard USB-C cable. Not sure why, <laughs> but... We'll get to that soon. And they even, is that extra controller knob? And yeah, extra controller knobs in case you lose or break yours. So very cool. So the Fly More Bundle is definitely worth it as opposed to just buying the drone by itself. Fly More Bundle is $9.99 list price versus $7.99 for the drone itself. Hey guys, we're here at the lake. I brought the DJI Mavic Air. After doing all the battery charging and firmware updates and registration and all that boring stuff that just really isn't that great on video, let's go ahead and get, get our first flight out of the way. 
So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at how we unpack and unfold it here. All right, looks like we're ready to go. And I'll go ahead and take off from the table. I've done this a million times with the Mavic Pro, so it shouldn't be a problem with the Mavic Air. And we're in flight in GPS mode, so let's go. And I'm already getting a, a distant or a warning on the rear sensor because we're so close to it. But I'm going to go ahead and start my recording. And now my proximity sensor has gone off. It's pretty risky, I know, flying the first flight over water. But here we go. Let's turn that gimbal down a bit. And it looks like we're at about 113 feet at this point. Of course, we can take it higher. I can still see it. But you're supposed to only fly when you have visuals on it, visual line of sight. I can still see that little dot heading towards the bridge over there. See that car on the bridge there? Awesome so far. So very steady. It's a mild amount of wind out here right now. But it all looks good from here. All right, we're distance about a thousand feet, right about now just crossed over a thousand feet and we're at 200 feet in the air if you're on the metric system you'll have to do that conversion normally this is a lot greener and a lot prettier but you know it is still winter No transmission issues, no dropping signal, which is one of my complaints of the um, DJI Spark, that it is just really sensitive to Wi-Fi interference. So, so far so good on the Mavic Air. I'm in the way, it won't go any further back until I get out of the way. And let's put her down.
just like that. That's how it's done, folks. DJI Mavic Air, awesome drone, great improvements. Many over the DJI Pro or Mavic Pro. Still like my Mavic Pro, but I think of the three, now that I have the Mavic Pro, Mavic Air, and Spark, the Spark is going to go goodbye. It's going to be for sale because this is the size I always wanted, and the Spark just doesn't have the robustness that I'm seeing right here with the Mavic Air. All right, cheers everybody. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Hope you got your first look at the Mavic Air, which I think is awesome. Cheers everybody.